What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, and I want to give you a short overview of some of the new features found on iPhone and iPod Touch OS 3.1. So let me first show you that I am indeed running 3.1. Go into General, About, and you can see right down there, running version 3.1. So the biggest change, and really one of the only changes that you're going to see on your iPhone directly, is in the App Store. So let me open this up. And what you're going to get now is a new Genius playlist that you're going to see in the Featured. So you've got New, What's Hot, and now Genius. And once you go through and accept some terms and services, you're going to get access to this full sort of new playlist. Essentially what this is going to do is recommend apps based on your purchase history. So if you're buying a lot of camera apps, it's going to recommend camera apps. If you're buying a lot of racing games, it's going to recommend racing games. It uses a series of very smart algorithms to determine what Apple thinks might interest you. Now some might find that a little bit creepy and you can turn this off and you don't have to use it or send any information to Apple. Some may find it very helpful. So here's some recommendations for me based on things I've already downloaded. And that's generally what you're going to see uh, as far as the updated 3.1. There are some bug fixes behind the scenes. I'm personally hoping for improved battery life. I'm going to be doing a full demonstration of new iTunes 9 in a different video. But since we're discussing the iPhone and the iPod Touch, it's important to show you one of the features that you get with 3.1 that couples very nicely with the new iTunes 9. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. So I've got my iPhone connected to my computer. The iPhone is of course running 3.1 and my computer is running iTunes version 9. So across the top, you get a very familiar interface from what you'd see when you're syncing your iPhone or iPod Touch. Summary, info, ringtones, music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, iTunes U, and photos. One of the new things now under applications that you can see right here is you get a graphical representation of your iPhone or iPod Touch home screen with full app management. So let's say I want to move an icon, I can just grab it with my mouse, and that ripple effect is just coming from my screen capture program. I can go ahead and drag it anywhere I want. And as I move my mouse over these applications, you notice that I get an X, so I can go ahead and delete them um, if I choose. And you get the same representation for each of your home screens. So I've got four right here. If I go ahead and click two, I can manage all the applications on this screen. And the same thing for three, which really does, I think, come in nice and handy. Now, in addition, you also get app management here on the left-hand side. You can choose what applications are going to sync and where they're going to show up on your phone. So if I go back to my first one, for example, I should go back to number two, I've got a Bloomberg application that I use to track all of my stocks. Well, here's Bloomberg right up here. If I go ahead and select that, notice that it'll well, disappear from my second home screen. Go ahead and put it back. It shows back up at the bottom, and I can move it right back to where I like. So a lot of times if you go and download applications, maybe you're downloading a ton of free ones, you might not always want them on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So now you can determine which ones show up, when and where they're going to show up. And this will be true with any application that you've downloaded, whether you paid for them or whether or not they were free. As long as you kept them on your computer, um, they will always be there. And it'll automatically transfer to your computer when you sync your iPhone. So no need to worry about things not uh, being there, or saying, you know, I didn't buy applications on my computer, how am I going to get them on my iPhone or iPod Touch? No need for concern. So I'm going to do, like I mentioned, a, a further walkthrough of iTunes 9, but I thought it was important to show how iTunes 9 worked with um, iPhone and iPod Touch OS 3.1. For exclusive content, guys, be sure to check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers and to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.